go. Yeah. Yeah. Counting in? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Dirty Glass <laughs> Studio on Oak Avenue. Wait, what do I know when I say? Welcome to the Dirty Glass Podcast. We're sitting here in this Dirty, Dirty Glass, Glass Studio, Studio on Oak Avenue. In a basement on Oak Avenue. Basement. You fucked me up, Ange. <laughs> yeah, at the end, we got Danny Mixologist coming a little towards me. Angela Nicole, Catherine Hanlon. And we're here to find out who the winner of March is so we can get the quarterly winner in regards to the ultimate winner. But we don't know who that is until September because this is only the second quarter. We're halfway through our tournament of champions. And we're going to drink. We're going to laugh. We're going to learn. And we're going to learn. Denny, what do we do here at Dirty Glass? Fundamentally, I mean. Fundamentally. (laughs) Fundamentally. (laughs) We've become fools Mm. as time comes on. Yeah. But we, we drink adult beverages, obviously. And we rate them from zero to five dirty glasses. Zero being garbage and five being awesome. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. As the Miz would say, awesome. Ange. While we're getting started here, why don't you just hit that subscribe? It's right there. Just boom. Subscribe. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think. And on this episode, um, we're figuring out the winner of March. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patty's Day month. St. Patty's Day month. We've been drinking Guinness blends. Uh, Denny has been beautifully pouring them, and we're at the top two now. The top two for the month are Denny. Denny, who's the top two? Uh, It's the Belgian brunette and the blacksmith. Yeah. Yeah, which is uh, what? Stella and Guinness and Smithix and Guinness. Yay! Let's go. So let's do it. Delicious. Let's Who it. is the first up in this elimination chamber? Oh, it's the Belgian brunette. Let's go. So that's Stella Guinness. Also let's the go. dirty blonde. Dirty blonde. Yeah, 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 yeah. My All kind, right. my type of woman, dirty and blonde. Of course. Actually, my type of woman's breathing. Go ahead. I wasn't going to say anything. We've done like all the sort of factoids. You know, we got the Stella. We know that that means star. Star! I don't know if we discussed that Stella uh, was brought out at Christmas Christmas beer originally. We did not in this sequence, no. I might have talked about it. On account of the star, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Stella has a beautiful chalice and has been around a really, really, really long time. Apparently, there's 94 steps to pouring a Stella. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? And nine, but there are nine. So. And the first seven steps is cleaning the glass. No, it's. Isn't it? It's just the first step. But if you would like us to do a short on how to pour a Guinness, the nine, or the Guinness, oh my God. We can do both. Oh, we can do, we can do Guinness short? too. Well, do you want to? I'll see? talk to Steve O and see if maybe we can use his uh, tap and we can. Oh, that'd we be can, cool. Because uh... we may have seen someone do it poorly there. Would they pour oh, poorly? Oh my god! Remember they were dumping the They're Guinness. They're pouring it and dumping it. Like, I told Steve O about it. And he fucking just shake his head. Our, our dear friend uh, girl who drinks Guinness would have hated it. I won't tell you the restaurant because I don't know if he wants me to tell no, you. No, that, no, we but won't. He, he was. It was. 
it was no bueno. Anyway. And like it maybe I just wanted to say so many things when she was doing it because I've done it a few times. It was, was like, like a thirty step pour. Like she just kept pouring out. The well, she Guinness. didn't understand the surge. I know. She it thought was, it was all. It was, I, uh, it was sad. It, it made me sad. All I gotta say is, yuck. Anyway. But yeah, maybe Steve. Like it would be nice if we could uh, do like how to properly pour one a draft Guinness. Well, I'll talk to I'll talk um, to my friend who owns a bar. There's also ways to show like how to pour like a canned Guinness, but there's a nine step pour for Stella. Uh, apparently, eight of which is cleaning the glass. Clean All right, glass. cheers, Shalante, Shalante. So, Denny, you didn't like this one as much the first time around, right? Not really. No. He was no bueno on I, I like both these beers, but I like them separate. Okay, yeah. so let's all clear our minds from the month <laughs> previous. Hold on, let me just drink some of my coffee. Oh, coffee up. Oh, yeah, I have coffee. That's a good idea at midnight. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Oh, man. I fucking love this. I love the mixture of this because I love both beers. I feel like I like it better this time. Yeah, I like it better this time. The well, first first sip I had was just Guinness. I didn't slurp it down right. All right, we'll stop and score five. <laughs> <laughs> well, Denny didn't give Guinness a five. You, and you didn't I gave pucker, five. Denny. Pucker. Because uh, I got rid of most of the Guinness. Toupee. I can so, taste it now. It's smooth. I mean, the two together are smooth, in my opinion. I like them together. I mean, again, not as much as I like them apart. No, so positive. they need to break up. But blend month, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, Denny, what do you think? It is pretty good. Is it smooth? It's, 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 it's not bad. It's cold. It yeah, is cold. Refreshing. My basement fridge is so cold. It's such a good fridge, honest to God. It's a great beer fridge. All right, Denny, what's your, what's your uh, ranking or Nick or Denny or me? I'll maybe I'll jack this up to three. Holy fuck, that was that's a big jack. No, it was two seven before. No, it was two three before. Oh. That's all right. That's good. I like it. Oh, all right, I get. Take with three. Yeah, three. All right. Mine's jacked up, not as much as Denny's, but I'm a three seven. I dig it. I dig it. It's smooth. I like the pairing. Now, Again, I like them both separate. It's as a blend. I like it as a 3-7. Now, because this is a face-off, we can change scores during the episode. That's true. That so, is true. I mean, this is all, uh, you know. There's Happenstance. A there's no, a possible, wrong word. That's the wrong word. Substan substan it could change. <laughs> so, um, I'm really like it. I'm a 3-7 on the oh, two together. Oh, same as me. Oh, interesting. What was it? I didn't you and I both jacked up our scores. Hmm. What was I before? You were 3-4. Hmm. All right, interesting. It went up quite a bit. It's a, it's smooth, man. I mean, I, I really I like think it. it's fucking smooth. So. All right. Oh, so. Then he needs just, oh, you mix it together? Just to use a mixy mix? Yeah, it's. Let's see if Denny's changing on the mix. I like it together. Uh, yeah. See, I had the Guinness first when I was thinking about the... Yeah. So what's the score? So what's the score now, Denny? I'll put it at 2.8. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Just with it mixed together, it's yeah. so different. I'm the same. I'm not switching it. No. I chugged it in a minute. Three sevens, good. Three seven, three seven, and you're a two eight. Then he's a two eight. Get yeah. another battery for me. Or I'll switch me out. So apparently, uh. we need a new battery. <laughs> we do. <laughs> but the sum, what is it? The sum of two parts isn't better than the. Not always. In this case, it's not, but it's still good. I mean, it's good together. These two. Um, but it's those crazy millennials and Gen Zers who who do all the blending, right? Yeah. Like maybe Chelsea. I'm a, maybe Chelsea. Maybe I'm a purist. The thing is, like, I didn't think these two would be the winners at the end. It's no. Yeah. Surprising. Valid. Val. I mean, I thought Smithix might do okay, actually. Oh, I thought Harp would be in there. Yeah. Oh, you kinda. totally did think Harp actually. But I like the Harp blended. I mean, Harp. Like, I, I like the Harp that when it, you when you blend it together. Like, we, like mm -hmm. I liked it more when I blended it together. Oh, interesting. So this one is now, we're going on uh, beer number two. Is Blacksmith. What? Blacksmith. Oh, Blacksmith. Smith, Smithix and uh, Guinness. Smithix and Guinness. 
Two quintessential Irish beers. Very Irish. So before it was Belgium and Irish put together, which makes a, a lovely combination. A lovely Belgian brunette. But this one is going to be a blacksmith, double Irish. Let's go. Let's do it. Then he's layering that bitch up. And you're supposed to get some froth in there so it cushions the blow of the Guinness. Oh, oh. Is, that, is that literally part of the instruction hall? Yeah, so it doesn't mix. Part of it, but also, like, Guinness, like, people, are, everybody says it's heavy, but it's not actually a heavy beer. Guinness it's, is the least it's, heavy. It's less dense than most beer, which is why it it stays on top. Yeah, people have this thing because it's black, because so they the look darkness. at it, and they're like, yeah. oh, it's got to be heavy, but it's not. It's not heavy at all. You just need to know how to drink it. And I love Guinness. It's it weird. is literally my favorite beer. Like, no fucking word of a lie. It's weird how it... it it uh, layers because they're kind of the same color. Like the no, Smithix they're is not. A the Smithix is a red. Brown. No, it's a red, and Guinness is a, a black. Well, actually, it's a ruby, a dark ruby red, technically. But it's a little tougher to. Well, that's what I mean. They're both reds, right? So they kind of blend immediately together. No, but the Guinness is much darker, in my opinion. But valid oh, sure. in terms of like drinking it against like a, a Stella, which is yeah. much lighter. You can yeah, see yeah. the you can see the separation much more. Separation. <laughs> but it is lovely. Look at that. Oh yeah. I, job, I'm Denny. I'm curious to try this again. Denny, very good pour. Excellent job. You're right though. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's pretty samey. Oh no, but you can I mean, see the, bottom, the lightness at the bottom. You can see well, the lightness. You gotta put a piece of paper behind it. And oh it look, no, 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 no. You can see the bottom's quite a bit lighter. Yeah, hey Denny, it's more yeah. opaque at the top. All right, let's. See All right, cheers, Shalante. Last one of March. Let's go. Let's do it. Shalante, cheers. Shalante. First sip was just Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't well, that's the, that's the challenge with these. Like, it's almost like you got to do that. You got to spoon it up to to get the the flavors together. Or I think these are like, I I honestly think these blends are built to chug. To be completely honest, like you're supposed to chug the fuck out of these. All right, are you gonna like oh, do a amazing. chug challenge then? I mean, oi, oi, oi. A full draft. I might. It'd All have right. to be a full draft. All right. Well then, no. <clears throat> Denny, are you liking it? Yeah, it's delicious. it's it's really good. It's pretty good together. It's really These good. These two are really good yeah, together. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised the winners, but after tasting the two, I'm not surprised the no. winners because I mean they really go together. But they're distinctively different, right? Mm. Like the the Belgian brunette was like more. There was a lighter flavor to it. This is like almost like the black and smooth, like the Kilkenny, but you're right, Danny. I think I think I might have got it wrong the first time. Like, this is nicer. Mm. Yeah, with the Smithix. Like, that that sort of, like, stronger taste of the Smithix with the Guinness is better. Well, well you we taste won. both the beers, and they go well together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're very distinct, the two. Um, I mean, it's smooth. I mean, it's smooth. I mean, it's got to be... It's smooth? It's got to be fucking cold, though. Like, any it of these cold. things, which is great. Um, it needs to be cold as fucking a cock on a Tuesday. This is lovely. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I don't want you to tell me. Um, it's amazing. I I'd buy this if they, <sighs> if they had a, uh, All right. a Ginwick. Imagine they had a Ginwick. <laughs> You're, Imagine they had a you're Ginwick. so good at names of things. Sorry. Yeah, Denny Sorry. is good He's at the king of names of Imagine things. Imagine you could pour a Ginwick out of one can and it's still separated. That would be pretty fucking cool. That's can fucking we funny. invent that? So it'd be like that, that Irish, uh, it'd be like two separate cans but attached together. Like that Irish. Uh, oh, like the, the O'Doul is, and... no, not O'Doul's. Um, I know the one, The bl like it's black and white. It's the. The half bottle thing. It's the liqueur. I'll, I'll Sheridan's, Sheridan's. Thing. Sheridan's. It's totally the Sheridan's, Denny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it yeah. doesn't hurt my teeth. Yeah. Because Sheridan's mm. is so fucking sweet. I would drink Sheridan's right now like a motherfucker. That's grand. Um, that's grand. That's grand. Well, Denny, what's your score? I did first last time. You guys. Okay, I'm going to go you? first. I wrote mine already. Three. Oh, my, I'm a 3.9. 3.9. Three, it is solid. Do you want to go last? Solid. Should I go first? Yeah, you go next. Second. I went first. I'm a three, seven as well. I, I think it's oh, tied. it's equal. I think they're both the same. Interesting. Good. They're, All right. Uh, you know what? I'll give it a three eight. 
All right. It's a little better, don't you think? Well, you do. You I'm doing it a, a little. Better. I'm doing it the same. Four one for me. It's excellent. Oh, tie. Same as last time. All right. <coughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's awesome. I really I, the, the blend's awesome. Like these guys. Ooh, this they, one did they well. Both, they both own it, so they should do that. What I said. I mean, be the Irish. First, it'd be the first. Do, Diageo, to listen to what he's saying. Separated, separated can. Yeah. They could sell it for six bucks a can. I'd probably buy a few. Yeah, I'd probably I would totally just, buy just a few. Be a, a just smart be a smartass. Just be a little bit of 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 a pinky in the air. If you got them. <laughs> yeah. mm, I would take a dozen of these. You do like right now? A dozen costs fucking seventy five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So we know the winner. The clear winner is the blacksmith. Blacksmith winner. Eleven it's the coolest point name eight. Too. It is a cool fucking name. It is the coolest name. So the whole month right now is so blacksmith? for the month of March, St. Patrick's Day, blacksmith. We got two fucking iconic Irish and interesting. The Irish wins. The Smithix and the fucking Guinness. I mean, it, it might take a thousand years, but Irish sometimes wins. Exactly. Didn't keep us again this can. Oh. Whoa! Welcome to the Dirty Glass Podcast. Winner proclamation for the month of March. <laughs> the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Wins handily. Not even. It's not even really close against. It's close-ish. I well, mean, what's the it's score? Not, it's not right? a killer. So Belgian brunette, which is the Stella, is ten point two. Ten point two for the Stella and Guinness. It's a dirty blonde. And then the blacksmith is an eleven point eight. Eleven point eight. Blacksmith. Blacksmith wins. Winner. Winner. For the month of March. Proclaimed blacksmith. Proclaimed. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did Chelsea just say? It's not bad. So, like the so um, the month the quarterly winner is going to be interesting because I think it's like going to be what what is the combo? So I, think I it's mean, gonna we be got blacksmith versus like CC Green straight. Oh, that'll be interesting because CC straight is fucking amazing. So it's going to be a uh, Canada. Versus Ireland, which hurts my heart almost because that's what we are. Oh, God, I know who's winning. Who? You think Blacksmith? I'm not going to say. I don't want to. It's a surprise. Surprise. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm looking at it. I can't do math right now, but we'll <gasps> figure out the math. All right. So thank you all for watching. Um, thank for all your support. Like, share, subscribe. Give us some comments. Hit us up. Tell us what you want to see. Um, Nick, any comments? Any last words? Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime. Danny? Yay! <laughs> I love Smithix. Smithix is good. It's underrated. Like, I don't feel like we drink Smithix enough. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. I... Why did I take a fake accent there for a second? No, I, no, I, was, I, know, it was, I know it was English. <laughs> ah, it's when we're going to London, Nick. Anyway, Nick's got his finger out. What are so you doing? He's going to say something. Like Nothing. and subscribe? I already did that. And make sure you check us out on the Tubi Ube. Ubi Tube? Ube YouTube? <laughs> I got to chill. The, the YouTube. The Thanks YouTube. for watching. <laughs> and the next episode will be the quarterly. the quarterly winner to figure out who the champion is of the tournament of champions we're doing this year. So just check it out. Like and subscribe so you know when it's coming up because this is a biggie. It's every three months. It's not that often it's that you often. crown yeah. a king. Or a queen of the quarter. The champion. And keep in mind, at the end of this year, our fiscal year ends in September. <laughs> fiscal right? year. Right? <laughs> is that what it is? We started in September for the quarter one. Our fiscal year. Our fiscal what year will end uh, maybe October, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> but just make sure you check it out. 
<laughs> so you know the tournament of champion winner. The tournament. Uh, so you can hear me yelling and hurt myself. And hurt so, all of our ears. Again, like and subscribe. Watch your uvula. Watch my uvula. Oh, look, we're getting texts from Corey. Oh, Corey. Is he calling? No, he's texting. You want to call him on the you, podcast? Let's give him a quick call. I'm going to give him a call. I'll give. I'll totally give him a call. You want to call? Oh, my God. Know? It was like 10 minutes ago. He might not answer for me, but I'll try. If he doesn't answer, I'm going to make you try, and then if he doesn't answer, I'm going to try. Let's see who the fear well, I'm calling you as well. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ange. <laughs> I just turned mine on. Oh my god, it's Corey! Turn yours off. Is it Corey? Corey joined! Is Corey, Corey, are you here? He's laying in the bathroom Wait, floor. Okay, give it to Nick. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? <laughs> he laid down for a nap. It's okay. We're just on the oh, podcast fuck. live. We're fucking done. So fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your nap! Bye. Enjoy your sunburn. Bye. We love you, sunburn. Bye. That was Corey from the Shedcast. <laughs> Shout out to the Shedcast, which I still have to edit an episode from. I thought you were going to post like, the episode already. Well, I, you know, our stuff gets priority. Whoa. Bye. He gave me a password. I lost it in our chat history. Bye. I don't know. He doesn't out. remember. <laughs> God. Bye. Bye. Bye.